Hey everybody, I hope you guys can hear me. And today we're going to wait just a minute. We're going to see if more people come in and uh, see if we have anybody come in because I'm doing this on a not normal day. And so there is, this is up, it's going live. Uh, today we are going to talk about, um, oh good, everybody can hear. Hi Joshua, how are you? Uh, we are going to talk about a couple things. First, we're going to talk about the um, little secret drone meeting of everybody. <laughs> first, I was first. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we're going to talk about a little secret drone meeting that went out. Hey there, Tom. How are you? Friday. Everybody's coming in. Hey, wow. Everybody's coming in. That's great. It says I have nobody watching, but apparently my counter is off a little bit, which is fine. I'm okay with that because I have everybody here. So, um, Tom, Mr. Big Sky Imagery, no, wait, that's not, is that, yeah, so, no, that's not Tom, Big Sky Imagery, I'm screwing up already, anyway, they said they would like to talk about the editing uh, capacity for a 4K computer, what we would have to do to do an editing computer for a 4K editing computer, blah, 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 did I say editing enough? No, I didn't. So anyway, we're going to talk about that later. Oh, you're a big fan of my channel. Thanks, Josh. I appreciate that, man. That's awesome. I'm glad you could come to the to the live stream then. Um, so first, we're going to talk a little bit. Yes, Tom. See, Tom, I, why am I? When I think Big Sky, I think Montana, and you're not in Montana. <laughs> That's why. That's where my brain farts. <laughs> I'm glad you like the topic. So let's first, I'm going to get this out of the way. We're going to talk about this little secret meeting that the uh, uh, the government had. I guess I guess it's the government, but this was this happened back. I think it started back in January, and you can look at this website. I've got links here in the uh, description below. It's the this is the uh, Washington Post link that you can take a look at, and if you want to look at the advertisement, that's great. So there's a really long article. We're not going to go through and read all of this. But just so you know the that I have a link down below that states everything that, well, it's a link to this article. So you can read this article uh, a little bit later if you would like. So that's what I want to talk about really quick. And then we'll get into the hardware of the editing computer, I promise, Mr. Tom. Hey, Chasing Drone Productions, waving back from the U.S. Chicago, actually. Glad you could join me. So today, the, this, this meeting, um, I'm just going to give you a quick... What I got out of that article, um, they had this meeting. They had it all. It was like a closed door meeting. Uh, the government kind of arranged this whole thing. So they said, "Okay, we want industry leaders. We want you know people who are drone pilots or not really drone pilots, but I wish they'd have more drone pilots." But anyway, they had a lot of industry leaders come in and talk, and some congressmen and some representatives and all this stuff. And then, hey, JB's adventure sub. And then they had all this going on, and and. It's a secret meeting. I don't really care about that part. But what what got some of them riled up was that DJI was there. It's like, oops, sorry about that. I'm sure you heard that. But DJI, well, of course DJI is going to be there. They have they have 70 percent market in the world of drones and probably that big just here in the in the U.S. Hey, Ozzy Mark. Hi, Ozzy Mark. I'm glad you can make it, man. That's awesome, Mark. So this meeting, you know, it's like what, so some of these people got had a problem with the representative of DJI, a Chinese company, being here in this meeting about, you know, the United States airspace and FAA and all this other stuff and the rules. What I want to know is what do you guys think about that? Uh, because I, I'm kind of torn on it. I mean, I understand why these people are concerned. It's like, okay, this is a company from China. They're here and they might get some secrets. They had actually some memos that went around that said, hey, don't let this type of group person in the meeting see these documents, which pretty much meant DJI. Um, I don't know if it was any top secret information or what. I doubt they would have top secret information in this kind of a meeting, but why you know whatever they they're just being paranoid or are they not being paranoid hey, hey variables here matt how you doing glad everybody's showing up all my regulars are here and some more reg people i like that so what what do you guys think about this you know is it a big deal the dji had a, a representative i mean i don't think it's a big deal because you know they have a lot to say in this you know they're like look at look at the technology we're doing we're trying to make it so that you can actually and they're they have um they're building a system where you can actually track drones based on the remote control and the the 
communication between the remote and the uh, <sighs> the drone, you know, that thing that flies in the air. They can enter, need a better understanding of the FAA sectional charts. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> they It's just crazy. Uh, but that, I agree with you. They need a better understanding of the FAA sectional charts. Those are hard to read in the first place. I mean, for a, a, someone who's not been a pilot before, who's not lived, breathed, and all this stuff, those are really, really bad. I'm glad you can hear me great, Mr. Uh, Mark. That's fantastic. And I see you changed your name a little bit to the tutorials part. That's kind of good because you got some good tutorials. Um, so with that, with the... But DJI, you know, they've got these things that, that they're trying to get some kind of air traffic control. Not all NFCs are perfect circles. You are correct, sir. They're, uh, they're weird shapes. Um, in fact, I had a drone base come through today that said, hey, would you go do this photography here? It was kind of, I would have to fly over a busy street, and it was just inside the O'Hare airspace. So I'm like, mm, not for 40 bucks. I'll pass. Um, so anyway, but the, 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 the DJI has, is creating all these controls in, in a way to kind of broadcast where drones are and what they're doing to whoever wants to listen. And some people like that. Some people don't. I mean, if you're in, if I was in, if I'm going to fly in O'Hare airspace, like that job I just talked about, it would be nice to know that I could just go do it. And my drone, and, and as long as me, knowing the rules, knowing that I'm in the airspace, knowing that I have to stay under 200 feet, and they weren't asking for more than 100, so that would have been fine. So, you know, keeping that and, and being able to fly inside of O'Hare airspace within, you know, between three and five miles away, because, you know, the five mile, we have that now. And I would prefer to be able to do that. And I think that, that I think that this meeting may or may not have it, and DJI would be able to give the technology saying, look, you know, we have... If we know what you want, we can build the technology to enforce that or whatever. But then again, you have all these other drone manufacturers that don't have to do this. I mean, that DJI is doing it completely voluntarily. They don't have to do any of this stuff. So what is your thought on DJI being there in this meeting? I think it's a good thing. Um, I don't. I, I can't see them giving away any top secret government anything. For safety, it is a good idea. This is uh, Matt. For safety, it is a good idea, but Big Brother knows w knows way too much of what we do anyway. Yes. <laughs> uh, it, we're Right now, I mean, even a couple of years ago, we were the wild, wild west in the drone world. Um, even a year ago, it was still, it, well, about a year ago when they came out with the 107, they're a little less wild, wild west. But it's still, the wild, wild west of drones is being tamed, and I'm hoping that it doesn't get tamed so much that it says, hey, you can fly 100 feet and that's it. So, yeah, I totally agree that they, they know too much, well, they they monitor too much. I mean, they they can look anything up. Now, granted, the odds of them actually looking at you specifically all the time, you know, there's too many people. If you think that they're actually watching you, they probably are not. I don't think they're watching me, and if they are, hi, guys, Foundation Arrow. Hey, Brian, I'm glad you made it. You must have gotten my text. <laughs> he got mad at me a couple of weeks ago saying, you didn't tell me about the live stream because I screwed up and I forgot. I won't forget again, I hope. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I think the Big Brother does see a little bit too much. Um, I would like to see a little bit looser. But then again, on the other side of that, then you have crazy uh, hobbyists or people who don't care and don't follow the rules, and that becomes an issue. Um, all goog? I think you mean all good. Your typing has got to be fixed, Mr. Brian. <laughs> So that's that was my thought, uh, you know, about the DJI thing. You know, I think it's it's good and it's bad. Use utilize the DNAS system; it would be fine, but that would require a lot of private pilots to upgrade equipment. See, I'm not familiar with the DNAS. I think, Matt, are you a bit more of? I think you're you're a lot more of a pilot than I am. I think you got a little bit more information than I do because I don't know the DNAS system. Um, because again, I'm more. Uh, just the smaller drones. I don't have anything huge. I don't have anything bigger than a Phantom 4 Pro right now. Um, hey, Brian and Mark, yes. Um, Owen made it. Hey, Owen. Wow, we actually have 16 people, I think, watching right now. I'm glad Owen made it. Glad to see you. Um, 
Now I lost my track. There we go. It's gone. I don't know. Oh, you read a lot. <laughs> I don't have a lot of time to read. I just don't. I wish I did. I wish I had more time to do some reading. Um, I, I do what I can. Oh, everybody's saying hi to everybody. Good. That's fine with me. Uh, what is the DNAS? That's what I like to know, Matt. What's DNAS? Um, is that the... I mean, it, Good day. <laughs> that was my really bad Australian accent. <laughs> and Foundation Aerial, uh, that is Brian. He's a, he's a guy I've flown with. Uh, gosh, it's been almost, it's been over a month ago, hasn't it? We've got a I gotta do a flying thing, but it's phew, right now with the weather. Who knows what the heck's gonna happen? Um, so DJI, I think that they have some good ideas. I don't think it's a bad idea. Digital nav system. Yeah, I mean, it, if that would be able to be integrated easily into the drone I have now, that would be okay. But I don't see that happening because, you know, they're not going to let the consumers open up those drones because that will void all warranty and that will become a problem. So they would have to, it would have to be something that can be pushed out, you know, incrementally over the next few years. Soon it's going to be cold. Yeah, it's going to be. Well, you can fly as long as it's not below 32. You can probably fly down to 20. But that's that's not me saying you should because if your batteries blow up, I'm not responsible. But I have flown in 32 degree weather with my old Autel. Algeria. Hello, Mr. Brahimi. I hope I said that right. From Algeria. Yeah, it does it. You know what? I don't care as long as I'm flying. As long as it's not too windy. The wind is what bothers me, obviously. Oops, I gotta quit hitting that. The wind bothers me more than anything else. So I'll tell you what. Now that we're getting, I think I think I'm done talking about the DJI and, and coming into the China thing and, and or coming into the meeting. Um, I think we're all pretty much, you know, whatever is whatever. And that was, I don't know. I well, I I don't care that they did it. I think it's I think someone's overreacting a little bit. So now what I want to talk about is what Tom wanted to hear. He actually he emailed me what, a couple days ago. Was it this morning or yesterday? I think it was this morning. He emailed me about asking about how I what I use to edit my videos and how I do it. Do I edit 4K? Or do I not edit 4K? So let me tell you guys how I edit. Obviously, when I do a live stream, I do HD, and it's a live stream with my webcam. Nothing really, really exciting. Hey, Drone Wolf Media, how are you guys? That's great. You can see my my editing. I'll tell you all about my editing thing that I do now. So what I do is, number one, I have Premiere Pro. Uh, I believe I said that in the Aussie Mark collaboration. Uh, I use Premiere Pro CC. Just got the new version last week. Uh, it's really nice. But I use what's called a proxy. I come in. I bring my stuff in. I set up my project to create proxies. And then... It creates these proxies. Basically, it takes my 4K footage. I shoot in 4K. It brings in my 4K footage, and then it converts it down so I can actually edit because my computer's not the best at 4K. And then when I render it, it renders it into 4K. The computer I have now needs to be upgraded. Um, I have an i5, a Core i5. Um, it's a 3. Point, what do I got here? 3.4, 3.5 gigahertz quad core. Um, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, and that's kind of low for 14 for 4k but we're going to go into the settings what i what i have and i have a 1070 gtx with 8 gig of ram video card and that's what i have currently now i'm going to explain to you <laughs> what's what's good first one i want to talk about since that's my system that's just a basic it, it works well for what i do but i need a lot more hard drive space because of those proxies it creates it's basically creating a 1280 by 720 uh file of the exact of of the H of the 4K, and then it lets me edit with that. And when I try to do straight from 4K, yeah, it doesn't work too well. So let me show you guys what I think is a really good HD editing. We're going to go first with HD. So with an HD computer, an Intel, I Core, uh, Intel Core i5 is fine. 16 gigabyte RAM is fine. You want to, you know, 32 would be great. If you can, get a 500 plus or more gigabyte SSD. If you can, you're, you only need a really good four gigabyte graphics card. You know, you can pick just about anything, and a four terabyte hard drive or you know whatever hard drive size that you really think you need. That will be a decent 
HD editing computer, and you could actually do what I do now, and you would be able to, uh, you'd be able to use the proxies. Now, Tom says I've been shooting in 4K editing in 2K, and then export to 1080p using Final Cut Pro. Now, Tom, let me come back over here real quick. So, Tom, if you're editing in 2K and exporting in 1080p, don't bother editing in 2K. Just edit it in 1080p. I mean, you're not, it's, you're not, you're, you're only, you're not saving anything. You're not doing anything. It's, it's, it's really not helping at all to go to 2K to 1080p. If you're going to render in 2K, that's fine. Render it into 2K and then edit, edit in 2K and render in 2K. If, uh, and I don't know, I don't know Final Cut. I don't know how it works, but I think they do proxies too. But if you can edit and do a, a proxy in 1080p and then edit or render in 4K, that's if you want 4K video, that's what you would do. Final Cut Pro, but I, I, Premiere, I'm, I'm, I'm not even bothering Final Cut, Final Cut Pro. The one thing I know, it totally smokes Premiere on that final render. I know it does because when you render with Final Cut Pro, it's like, 75 or it's like 25 50 percent faster and if you re-render it it's even faster now i wish premiere pro's re-render was faster but it is not i'm glad you understood tom now let's go into what you want for a 4k editing computer there's your 4k editing computer you want to get an intel core i7 you want to get the seventh generation or better minimum of 32 gigabytes of ram probably 64 gigabytes of ram but that's going to cost you five or six hundred dollars to get 64 gigabytes of ram you want to have a one terabyte ssd uh an m2 and if you know if you don't know what that means you'll have to talk to the computer people about that um i don't want to go into details on what an ssd is i'll tell you about external hard drives in just a second tom but I like I, I prefer the one terabyte SSD, but you don't need one that fast or that big. You can get a smaller ter uh, uh, SSD if you're only going to be using editing only. Then you can get like a 500 or a 750 gigabyte. Uh, you want to get a GTX 1070 or better graphics card. You want to have the best graphics card your money can possibly buy and an internal four terabyte hard drive or more or more or more. Solid straight, yeah, no moving parts. It's it's a thousand times faster, and I really wish I had the solid state. <sighs> so, let's go to external hard drives. So you can do with external hard drives. What I have is I have the um, well, I can't show. Well, I can show. I think I've got one right in here. Ah. You want to get the USB three minimum. Um, I've got on my motherboard. You can get, oh, well, of course you can, Brian. You work for that company that we both talked about, and we might have to talk. So uh, actually, because I'm looking at, I'm seriously looking at upgrading my computer almost to what I just said, except for the 64 gig of RAM. Anyway, with um, external hard drives, I use Transcend. Um, I use the Transcend, the ruggedized hard drives, and um, I basically have the USB 3, and on my motherboard, I actually have USB 3.1, and I plug that in there, and I can edit off of these hard drives but if you have an, an intern or an external that has an ssd connector you know or you have um i know they work this way i can't think of what it is because i don't use it but i've seen robo aerial do it you can take your ssd and plug it straight into the usb 3 and then it's it, you have a very fast hard drive that is the very best way to have an external hard drive is you want to have the ssd if you can buy ssds and you because your money is no object and you're just a rich person please send me as many as you can possibly send me because i'll take them but ssds are the way to go but they're just expensive a one terabyte the m2 that i was talking about that m2 one terabyte is right around three hundred dollars now uh in the links in the youtube description there are links to these the 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 expense the parts that i would like to have um, make sure that before you buy any of that stuff that you um you make sure that they're going to match because I, I i'm pretty sure everything will go together but talk to somebody and have them look at it and uh <laughs> make sure that you can put them all together i'm sure you can the ram man i'd love to have 64 gig of ram this motherboard can't even handle 64 gig it can only handle 32. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, I, if, if any one of you guys have, like, unlimited funds and want to shoot me off some uh, SSDs, 
I'll be more than happy to take off. In fact, I'll even do a giveaway on a live stream and let some of my my viewers have some of those. I don't know if I should let Brian join though because he always sent, tends to win those. <laughs> So, Brian, we do have to talk about uh, hardware on, a, on the side. You and me, I'll have to give you a call because um, I've been looking at motherboard CPUs. Or obviously, since I have all of that listed, that's kind of the stuff I've been looking at. I also need a few other things. I'd like to have a new monitor. Or go with the new AMD Ryzen. Matt, that's a preference that I don't have. Um, I, I had AMD way back a long time ago, and I know they're not like this before. I, I know they're not like this anymore. But I had AMD before, and I had issues. That's back when AMD and there was that third company, or the Threadripper. Yeah, it, that's fine. I mean, it, just make sure you get a high end. You know, the Ryzen, I've heard good things about it. But I have an Intel-based, everything's Intel-based on mine. This is what it is. <laughs> like I said, I used to have AMD before it was, you know, back when it was 32-bit, uh, and I really have to quit hitting that microphone. Yeah, the AMDs are good. Um, I'm just, I'm just stuck with the Intels for now. I, I prefer them right now, and it's just, just me. And if you prefer the AMDs, the now the Threadripper, I've not heard of, but the Ryzen, I've heard of, and that thing looks like a, a wonderful thing. Yeah, it's a Ford Chevy thing, exactly. But I would drive either a Ford or a Chevy. Yeah, I know you do, Matt, because you're smart. You're very smart. <laughs> you're not as dumb as I look. Um, <laughs> so what would you guys, what other stuff would you guys like to, uh, what's your dream computer or whatever? I mean, I've, I've looked at laptops. There was the um, 3D mapping software. It was really funny. 3D mapping software, someone was telling me that I needed to buy a $10,000 computer just to run it. And on my little i5 with 16 gig of RAM and no SSD, I was running PIX4D. But it was no big project. It was a smaller project. The project did have to run overnight, uh, but it was done overnight. I mean, it was like four hours of runtime. But yeah, if you're trying to do this for a living... You're, that's, you can't do that because if you have to do a lot of projects, it's just not going to work. But I also ran another software that ran it a little faster. So, you know, you don't need to spend $10,000 on a computer to get 3D mapping, but you do need to have a good computer. And I looked at, you know, one of the things you want to do, if you can probably hear the helicopter, um, one of the things, if you're looking like at a laptop, if you want to get like a laptop, just go buy a good gaming laptop, a good Alienware Cool, Brian. Thanks. Uh, just buy a good Alienware style laptop or any good gaming laptop um, that's high end. It's got if it's got the GTX 1070 or better, or even a 1070. Um, get the 1080. There's a couple of those that have that. Um, you just want as much RAM. Mac Pro rips through 4K too well, Mr. Brian. <laughs> I will probably never purchase a Mac if I can help it. That's, again, me. Chevy Ford. Um, <laughs> can't stand Mac. I just don't like it. I was a, in my previous life, in my opinion, I wouldn't get into the 4K starting out. While it's popular, not many have the ability to view in 4K. Hey, Intense Roan, how are ya? Um, you're right, Matt, but I like 4K. And their 8K is coming out, blah, blah, blah. 8K is going to be there's going to be very 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 few things and right brian they are a pain to switch between pc and mac and i do not like the mac uh culture the 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 you buy mac and you have to buy everything apple don't like that i, I like that i can buy a pc and i can buy google and i can buy this and i can buy that that's what i like I like that, uh, you know that it's easy for me to do these things now and like i was saying in my previous life uh, like more than 10 years ago, I was a computer programmer. I was a Microsoft guy. You know, I was like pretty much swallowing the, the Kool-Aid with that, drinking the Kool-Aid with that. But I was a .NET programmer. And I've built this computer multiple times. This is an upgrade of an upgrade like 15, 20 times over. So this this is my computer. I just swap out hard drives. I swap out the CPUs. I swap out motherboards. You know, this is my little hobby. This is like my little hot rod. If I could own a car, like a hot rod car, a 32 Ford, I would love to do that. But... This, that's why I am a PC guy, because I was a Microsoft programmer, and that's what we used. We didn't use Mac, and I did use Mac when I was in high school, 
in middle school even we had the apples the 2c or whatever the old 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 i'm i'm aging myself you know i did use a mac and that's when they were easy to use but i like the modularity of pcs now not to say macs are bad editing they're 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 badass at editing they can like you said you can do 4k editing in those but i like i like doing my st i like doing it on here and the nice thing is if 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 i decided to switch over all of my adobe software will come with me because i have the cc products and i would just bring it on over there um however i won't do that the other nice thing is if someone like yourselves like if if you guys were editing on a mac with premiere pro and you need to send me a project i don't know but i think that would just work really well between the two computers except for maybe some font issues i have had font issues uh before when someone says hey use this font and it was an apple specific font <laughs> it's like and you could not i searched for hours I could not find anything online to allow me to get that specific font on a PC. It drove me nuts, but I found something very, very close, which is actually the font that I'm using right over here, I think. I'm pretty sure that's the font. It's just an Apple-style font because I like, I like it, you know, but I don't like the fact that, you know, Apple says you can't do this, that, and the other thing. Uh, so what do you guys like to do? What, what, so uh, uh, Tom... Tom, this is for you. I want to know what kind of computer do you edit on right now that, that you use currently to edit? RL, yay, you got here. Have you tried DaVinci Resolve? Nope, don't need to. I that is that was original, and I know some people. I know people use it for editing, but that is actually originally for color grading and color correction. Um, I know that they have gone into editing, but Premiere Pro has been editing for so long. Um, I'm not, I'm not interested in trying DaVinci at this point, not to mention I have clients that I use, that use, you know, that I edit for and that's what I use, you know, that, that they like that I use the, that <laughs> Dell laptop shitty though. <laughs> hey man, does it work? If it works and you get something out of it, if it's like, you know, 1080p, that's fine. You know, this is, this is a, an average, you know, three years ago, this was a decent computer. Um, too bad I built it a year and a half ago. So Intense Roan, you use Final Cut Pro and MacBook Pro. Awesome for you. Um, I do wish I had the rendering power of Final Cut Pro. I like, and I, I actually watched a friend of mine on his Mac use Final Cut Pro. And I'm like, okay, that's not bad. What form? Yeah, what format do you export to? I export to M MP4 um, as high a bit rate as I can. I usually go to a 25 bit rate, um, and and it's all HD. You know, 4K. Uh, the 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 oh, what's the resolution? The 10, the 16 by 9 resolution 4K is what I try to do. When I do my talking head stuff, it's a little different. When I do my my aerial videos only then it's the high-end 4k that i go it's basically what my four my four pro gives me in video and then i just edit yeah but i'd like to know what everybody else what you export to do you export to hd do you export to 2.7k 8k is there, there, is there the only drones i know that are going to do 8k are the ones that carry the reds or any big camera then i don't think you guys are watching my channel <laughs> if you are hi how is everybody? Ooh, we got 16 people. This is like the biggest one I've had so far. 16 whole people. What else we got? I'm trying to watch the chat over here. Oh, we can show that. Why did that? Hang on. There we go. We can show that. It wouldn't let me. You, it, it said you couldn't show yours. So you have a Mac, i5, 3 gigahertz, 8 gig of RAM, Radeon Pro 5. Okay. Wow, yeah, HD is about as good. Your 4K is going to hurt that sucker. Yeah, I can see you do have trouble with the 4K. What drone am I using? I'm using the Phantom 4 Pro. HD laptop with Adobe Premiere Pro. Cool. And that's the new Mac. Wow, you export to 4K. I export to 4K. Um, obviously, the live streams are HD because I don't have software that live streams at 4K. I don't think I have the, I don't think my CPU could handle it. 
My CPU sometimes has trouble with the HD when I got too much running. You don't have a video editor. Played around with an in-house editor once, but I'm strapped for time. I'll tell you what, RL. Uh, look at the video that me and Mark did. I don't know if Mark's still around. Uh, there he is. Yep. Hi, Mark. Now, I do not. I never used OBS. I am using XSplit. Um, so, you, yeah, RL, you want to look at the uh, videos that Mark and I put together for the editors because we have we give you six options and about two or three of them are free and they're very good. If you want to go high end but hard to learn, you can go hit Film Express. Uh, but Mark had two, very, two, oh, actually, all of his were pretty good suggestions. Uh, so, take a look at what he had and the one that I had or the three that I had. And that will that may help you out. You're not a Mac user. That's that's fine, RL, because we told you all about PC editing software. <laughs> we didn't even didn't even think about that, did we, Mark? We didn't even think about the Macs because <laughs> when people have a Mac, they just use Final Cut Pro or iMovie. That's because it, it's very convenient for them, which is fine. An HP Spectre, oops, Specti or Spectre 360 two terabyte S. Oh, you have a two terabyte SSD. Oh, Brian, I hate you. 32 gig of RAM. Um, what do you think about the DJI Edit app? I'd never used the Edit app in DJI. And no Macs for you, Mark. <laughs> Me either. Yeah, I've never used the DJI Edit app. So if anybody else wants to tell you guys something, uh, tell them in the comments about the best, uh, what you guys think about the DJI editing app. Because I, I have never used it, uh, not even once. So, Brian, what I expect, it's, I think I'll be busy tomorrow, um, but we need to chat soon on what we're doing. What do you what do you suggest to edit Inspire 1 CDNG files? Oh, the Cinema DNGs? <sighs> you are going to need a sweet-ass computer. I would say you take that 4K. Here, let's, yeah, I know what you meant, Inspire 2. Inspire 2. Um, yeah, you need to extra get, you know what? Uh, Tom, I'm going to get back to that in just a second. We're going to go back to this 4K thingy. So, to edit on the Inspire 2, you're going to want to get all of this. You're going to need the 64 gig of RAM. You're going to want as big a ter uh, SSD as you want, or you can get maybe even more. You're going to need, I would go with dual uh, 1080 graphics cards and just get as much hard drive as you can get because that thing is going to those cinema dng files are massive so you're going to need a lot of hard drive space you're going to need a lot of processing power because that's what robo Ariel is doing he's got the inspire 2 now he's moving into the x7 as soon as he can get it and we're going to be editing with those and or he's going to be editing with those my computer will be like <laughs> It'll choke, so it's gonna be all on him. So you, my man, <laughs> you use Window Movie Maker, whatever works, man. So Tom, update your external hard drive. Um, if you are, because I know you're doing a lot of real estate, and I think you're doing some construction work out there. Um, what you may want to do is you may want to look at an external or a network attached storage, an NAS. And Brian, uh, uh, Foundation Aerial. I think that he needs to talk to you too because he works for a company that you all have heard of. And if Brian, you want to tell him who you work for, you can tell him. That's up to you. Uh, but you want to talk to him because he might be able to hook you up with some network attached storage because that might be the best thing because you can put in, you can get like six, eight, ten. You can you can go to hundred terabytes if you really have a crap ton of money. But you know you can put in get start building a network attached storage because then you can have six terabytes sitting there for i think five hundred dollars roughly i think but then you can add to it and you don't have to worry about more um usb ports you can just if you need more ports you can literally just get another hub for your house and plug your hub in and then just add more that way so you might want to look at no apples for drone uh drone media drone wolf media so you might want to look at uh, network attached storage if you really want to if you're going to go big time otherwise just get a good whatever you do do not get seagate drives only western digital don't bother with seagate only western digital you can get the lacie uh l-a-c-i-e uh drives the transcend drives are good you know why transcend is good is because they're owned by western digital uh, but lacie is good do not do not get seagate yeah, don't spend a ton. Then what you want to do, you know, these transcends, uh, 
I'll see if I can find a link. I'll put a link down here uh, in, in the thing, and you can use that. And if you guys help me out with those links, they're affiliate links that would help this channel a little bit. I would appreciate it. Um, punch that like button. Woohoo! Get more likes. Thanks. See, RL, you're a cheerleader, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So, oh, Drone Wolf Media, I didn't see you. So you shoot in 4K, edit to 16, 9, 1080p, and occasionally you go to 1440. Um, and by the way, guys, his, his videos are awesome. I highly recommend you check his channel out because he he's he knows what he's doing. <laughs> he's I am I am impressed with his videos. He I think he's a lot better than me, which there's a few people better than me. I think I'm decent. We'll leave it at that. I don't suck and I'm not the best. If I was the best, I would be doing a lot more things. Building a dream machine so you have zero dollars to spend in editing software definitely rl look at this look at those videos that uh, Ma uh mark and i put together i have one he has one it gives you six things if you're going to do hit film it's hit film express is free but it's a it's a learning curve that's what i say in the whole video davinci resolve you can try that too um i'm not a fan of davinci resolve but as, as you can tell <laughs> but matt if you use it then fine you use it and if you want if someone wants to use it oh dream home ah <laughs> Piece. I have PCs on my mind. Um, so you're building a dream home. So basically, you have to get lots of video of that. Please, I would love it. I don't know how to read, apparently, RL. Uh, so yeah, if you wanted... I have not tried DaVinci Resolve because I, I have tried enough software packages where I don't want to mess with it. Um, it's just the way I am, man. Ford Chevy. <laughs> And I've driven Ford, Chevys, Dodge. Actually, I've driven just about everything. But that has nothing to do with editing software. We could we could go all day on editing software. We really could because there's so many. I mean, I, I used to use the um, um, Corel Video Pro, whatever, Video Studio. And uh, it was it was good. It was good for what it did. But uh, I, I outgrew it. Give it a try. Dude, I have no time. To try other software now i do know that robo aerial uses that but they use premiere pro to edit they use davinci to do the color correction and color balancing check out the channel for some drone updates raw video you don't like premiere well all right then that's fine too i use power director 15 oh yeah I've heard of that. That's not so bad either. It does do green screen. So did uh, uh, the video studio. Um, yeah, yeah. I heard director's good. I've, I mean, I got to tell you, Matt, I've never heard bad things about DaVinci Resolve. I don't know why I have a grind against it. I shouldn't. I have no reason to. So if someone wants to use it, that's great. It's probably good software. Yes, I agree. Um, Pre-pro takes forever to pull cdng though now see in focus you are going more than what i have i don't have an inspire 2 i don't use cinema dng so i oh premiere pro takes forever to pull i hear that there's a special pro or a, a certain process you have to do and if premiere pro has taken forever to do it then um i'm definitely not the guy to ask I wish I was. I wish I knew more about it. I wish I had Inspire 2 and I had these problems to deal with. Um, but if I find out more, because again, uh, Robo Aerial is going to be working more with that. Um, and, and then maybe I can get what his process is and maybe we can talk to him. He has already agreed at one point that he will do like a, a, a I can interview him on something. And maybe that's what I'll interview him on is like, what is the, what have you found to be the best process for cinema D and G? So we'll, we'll go for there. Yeah. You need to upgrade. You need to upgrade. <laughs> Whatever, Brian. <laughs> so another pro. Okay. So you're using power director 15. Well, dudes, if you want to see what that can do, go over to, Pro to Drone Wolf Media and check it out. Building a new desktop. Yep, I'm going to be hopefully doing that in the next few months, we hope. You like the name In Focus? Yeah, In Focus is a good name, In Focus Aerial Media. Well done. Da -da 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 -da. I, will, I will see what I can do. I know that uh, he called me, uh, Robo Aerial called me like, minutes before this live stream I'm like dude i got a live stream in three minutes and uh <laughs> he's like oh yeah 
and uh, he's going to call me back later. But we can talk. I know that he's got a he's he's pretty busy, and he's going to keep me busy. Hopefully, in the next couple weeks. So, oh, that's a that's a repeat. I don't know why we have a repeat on there. Anyway, uh, da, da, da. you're editing your upgrade your edit upgrade your editing software. <sighs> no, I don't think so, Brad. <laughs> Dude, you got you 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 got some talent. I told you that earlier. You got some good. You're good. Um, um, I'm running out of things to say. Help me out, guys. Keep chatting. <laughs> oh, I love live streams like this. I love it when is everybody's chatting. Blue, 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 blue. Um, oh, let me go find really quick while you guys are chatting here. I'm gonna go look and find the. Um, I'm gonna talk to you guys and I'm gonna find the link for the transcend hard drives that i use let's see here amazon because it's all on amazon right now Shh, brian i don't want to say anything don't don't hurt me brian <laughs> transcend oh, external hard drive okay so i'm going to have these links here in just a second here's a see a two terabyte Three gigabyte or two terabyte USB three. Um, let me boom. I'm gonna actually put this. I'm gonna put this in the comments, and I'm also gonna put it in, in, as a link. Let's see. Two. Oops. <laughs> Underwater basket weaving realm. <laughs> Good one, RL. Oh, I never stop learning. Ways to go. Ah, that's okay. Um, two TB transcend HDD external. This is an external hard drive. Uh, I can't spell though. External. Oh my God! I still can't type. External. There it is. So here's a link. I'm gonna copy that, and we are gonna put that out here so you guys can see it. You guys can click on that link and you can check it out. Solid state drive, no moving parts. Yes, it is much faster. I wish I could afford one. Those damn things are expensive as all get out, man. <laughs> I just... Uh, here, let's put this right here. See if we go there. Okay, did that work? Yep, that worked. Uh-oh, my alarm. No, that's, just, that's my coffee maker. Okay, so you guys can check that out. Um, what movie is that from? Micro Center has a five terabyte external for one hundred and fifty nine dollars. Really, I'm interested in that one because I need I need some hard drive space. Let me see. I missed a few things. Let me go look. I need to get out fly. I've been raining too much. Oh, tell me about it, Brian. It's driving me nuts. And I tell you, RL, with your talents being underwater basket weaving, today in Chicago would be great for you. <laughs> What movies have you owned? Okay, yeah, I don't know if that's one fifty nine one. You know, that's a forty dollar difference. Okay, you're right, Drone Wolf. Um, Premiere is a little bit pricey, but I've got everything. Premiere, I've got everything Adobe, and 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 since I make money with it, it pays for itself twenty million fold. Well, not that fold, but it pays for itself every single month i mean it pays for itself within a couple of days not even it pays for itself in less than a day every time for me because i bill myself out using it yeah either way it is a good deal two hundred dollars for a five terabyte drive is pretty good um but you guys got to use my amazon links please please <laughs> Help the help the comp help the, the 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 channel out. See, I can't even I can't even speak now. But uh, maybe maybe Brian, if your company has affiliate links, that might that might be a good deal. So Infocus is using a Lenovo Y5070 uh, two terabyte SSD. Wow, i7 eight gig of RAM. You might want to up your RAM on that, but then of course you got a hell of an SSD. Um, yeah, two terabyte. Man, that two terabyte SSD is huge. That's a big. That's an expensive drive. I've been looking at those. One terabyte is hard to do it. 
Glad to see you got the Amazon. Yeah, I tell you what, Matt, you, you talked me into that real quick when you said what you said. I haven't made any money on it yet. I've been getting, people have been clicking my links, but people haven't been buying anything. So, well, you know, that's, that's what it is. It is what it is. But I have been getting some activity on it. It'll come. I'm not, I'm not overly worried about it. But I also, some, the one video, you had a video where you did a lot of the links or something, and, and it, it really drove people to drive, drive, uh, go buy stuff. Started the PC with an 80 meg hard drive and thought it would last forever. <laughs> oh, RL. My very first computer, the, the first iteration of this computer right here was a 486 66 megahertz with, I think, maybe very little RAM. I don't even know how much RAM it had. Yeah, I know. I know, my it'll, it'll come out. Tell me about it. Ouch. <laughs> Yeah, if you got if you could put some RAM in that sucker, but the eighty the eight sixty M the Nvidia eight sixty, mm. but see that's that's a laptop, that's not bad for a laptop. Yeah, that thing's got to load up fast, but it's just got, but just for editing, it's it's a little bit, you know that 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 <laughs> the RAM is just a little bit low on that. Learn more about dropping links in the videos to subscribe, link to other videos, etc. Oh, so there's something we can talk about. Learn more about dropping links in the videos. You mean like what I just did what, during the live stream? And I'm the only one that can do it. I'm the only one that can do it because it's my chat. Or if, if you're an administrator or a mon, uh, whatever that thing is called. It came in. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah i know it's it's you got what you got what you got and it and it's it's fast but it doesn't it, it's definitely not a video editing but I, I bet it works fine for hd it probably works great for hd for 4k maybe not so great it's taco tuesday fellas gotta go feed my face okay matt thanks thanks for showing up appreciate it you take care no idea how to do that you have admin powers over my channel yes <laughs> <laughs> uh videos on your channel okay well brian we might have to have a sit down hey keith how are you man eagle vp showing up thank you very much for saying hi i appreciate it uh sub to everyone here wow mr drone wolf eating and watching is, is Owen still here? Because he's also... I know we had Owen from the UK. We had... Uh, someone else said they were from the UK. Oh, you're getting taco. I see. I don't have any tacos. Mark's still here. Mark! Oh, it's early in the morning for you. Do you not work today, Mark? I think my wife bought me a new chair today, so I don't have this anymore. I hate this chair. We just bought this chair, and it's squeaky as great. Yes, I know you're from the UK because I watch some of your videos, and I know you you talk funny, just like Mark. <laughs> oh, you start in three hours. All right, so you got to go to work today. Ah, sorry, bummer. And I saw that uh, you got some rain down there, which was like desperately, and I mean that in a literal sense, desperately needed. And I'm glad you guys got some rain down there. Just the whole Australia, right? Got rain. <laughs> No problem. If you guys want to check out Eagle Veep, Eagle VP, he's, Keith is awesome. I definitely watch some. I, I watch the videos, man. Don't always catch your live streams, and I appreciate you catching mine. Um, I can't always catch your live streams because of timing. Live streams are so hard for me to grab. I'm so glad. Um, yeah. Oh, man. Tell the rain to come back. Come back. Come back. We'll do our rain dance for Mark. California, 102 degrees. We're on fire. What? Yes, I heard about that, man. Um, what in San Diego, which is like never really hot. At least, well, I, I may be wrong. Uh, it was like 100 and something in San Diego. So you must be in Southern California, or or are you? Are you in Southern or Northern? I saw that you were doing that live stream with Granny Monster, but I have to do this one. See, I can't do a live stream tomorrow. No more dancing. <laughs> so I was going to do that, but I can't. I had to do this live stream today because tomorrow I've got to go help Robo Ariel with something. And it's right here. So you're in Ventura. So that's lower. That's Southern California. And that's uh, L.A. How is Granny doing? 
I appreciate it, Mr. Keith. So now this is going to end up being a Keith video. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's fine. I don't care. Wow, we're getting it at about a, um, an hour anyway. I'm going to have to head out in a little bit. That was that was dancing. Don't you know what dancing looks like? <laughs> you really don't want to see my fat ass dancing. Oh, I said a bad word. Sorry. I waved my arms at me. I did. Woo! Here, I'll wave my fingers at you. <laughs> That's crap dancing. Because I don't dance. And if I don't dance, I'm no friend of mine. Wait a minute. Yay! Hasn't been as steady as I hoped. I'm sure it'll be back with Premiere Pro once the business picks up. Yeah, yeah. Um, dude, if, if you want something free, Drone Wolf, and, and, and it's more like Premiere Pro, film ex or hit Film Express. Get it. It's free. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Kiss my butt, Brian. Um... <laughs> Oh, then, Tom, I hope we got you the enough information, and uh, you may want to send Foundation Ariel a little message locally or, you know, through YouTube and talk to him because he works for a, a company that may be able to help you out. Y'all take care, Tom. Have fun. Safety dance. Hey, you understood it, RL. That's great. That's a, you're the first person. You're the big fan. I appreciate it. Ah, see ya, Big Sky. Yep, Big Sky's Tom. Tom is one of the first people when I got my when I started doing the drones. I think last year he contacted me via email, and we've been chatting. We help each other back and forth, uh, and and I've been watching his business grow on Facebook and whatnot. And he's he's growing quite nicely. He's doing. He's got a nice real estate thing going. And I think he's going to expand a little bit more. He's had some other uh he's done some quoting on some bigger jobs and it's really it's really interesting to see his channel his not his channel but his business grow so i'm i'm keeping an eye on him <laughs> okay guys i think we're i think we're almost done even though keith showed up sorry keith you showed up late to the game because you had a live stream you should have known better to have a live stream when i have one <laughs> Tom does have a very good channel. Yes, I think I don't. I I, I think we have a lot of people here that have great channels. Um, I'll have to do a channel shout out one of these days. And of course, I just kind of did. Yes, Drone Wolf's is nice too. Um, except I'm kind of doing a shout out video pretty much every time I do a live stream. Oh well, and I'm sorry I didn't shave today, but this live stream was um, kind of last minute. Because I found out I had to do stuff with Robo Ariel tomorrow, and it completely conflicted with me doing a live stream tomorrow. Yeah, you'll watch it back tomorrow. Thanks, Keith. I appreciate it, man. It's uh, it's kind of late there, isn't it? Let's, let's add the four. <laughs> it's like what ten or eleven? <laughs> yeah, this is this is not how I like to show up online, but I prefer to do the live stream and just suck it up and just do it. Shh, don't look at this. No problem, Marl. Gl I'm glad you guys all showed up. I mean, it was great. I mean, we peaked out, I think it's 16 or 17 at one point, and that makes me happy. Bristles are so bad. Oh, I know. They're horrible. I'll shave tomorrow. <laughs> That's usually what I say. Oh, they're horrible. No problem in focus. I appreciate everything. Do you have someone else in your live streams? I would, Eagle. Uh, Keith, if you want to be in it, we can talk. Um, I think that it would be fun. I, Mark and I have thought about it, but it's really hard. I mean, because it's the same thing with you and me. It's a time difference. Um, it's easy, obviously, if someone's here in Chicago with me. But, you know, with Mark and I, what we did is we just did our uh, collaboration with editing. You know, that's how we did it. But yeah, I would have people on, but I haven't found anybody that wants to do it. Now, Keith, and if you want to be the first, we can do that. We can make it work. I'm gonna, I'm basically doing these at five o'clock on weekdays. Well, one once a week so far, and I try to do them on Wednesday. Today, this week, kind of got screwed up because I got busy and I had to call an audible. Is what we say in the U.S. and we had to do it. Okay, and then uh, uh, 
so we had to do that and then you know that's that's how it works the this time would be fine with me see okay mark okay so i got mark and keith if you both are give me a mark you got my email you can send me an email we'll hook something up we'll, we'll talk because i would like to have a second person let's have a panel <sighs> okay brian Penal? <laughs> I just noticed that was a typo. I just read it as panel. Um, he needs to include... Oh, well, Brian, you know what? We could possibly do that, Brian. Um, Brian and I could probably do this live stream, but Brian, you got to be out of work you know, in time for me to do this. Or you could just join a little late and just come on in. I can do a little talk. Anyway, what do I live stream, though? I live stream... Sometimes it's it's a little bit different every time. Uh, we talk about, like this one here, we talked a little bit about some drone news happening here in the U.S., and then we talked about, you know, editing machines because I asked people what they wanted to hear about. Sometimes I'll just ask people what they want, and then we go from there. Now, Keith, if you have something you want to talk about specifically, uh, we can do that. You know, same with Mark, same with Brian. Maybe we will do like what Brian just said and have a panel of the four of us. I don't know if my Internet connection will handle all four of us, and I don't know. I've got to work with my uh, XSplit software to see how to do that. I'm sure I can use Skype in some fashion. It would have to be Skype because I, or I could end up doing the Google chat like I did with Owen. Um, and, and just, we just do it through Google chat where it works, but I won't have all these cool graphics. <laughs> Give the people what they want. Okay. Hang on. I got, I got, I lost track. When is this fine by me? What do you think about? Yeah, it's what I live stream. No, let me watch. Let me watch. You can watch anytime you want. RL. You're down. Okay, Brian, we can do that. Uh, Hangouts or OBS? Oh, what do I use? I use XSplit. Sorry. That's what I thought you... I'm, I'm a little off. I use XSplit uh, because I liked the price and I liked the functionality. And I tried OBS and I don't... I forget what happened, but it, it didn't... It didn't strike me as good as XSplit, but I see a lot of people using OBS. So the, it, it's obviously not as bad as what I was thinking. Okay, thanks a lot. In focus, take care. Later, have fun, fly safe, all that good stuff. RL, do you follow me on Facebook? Because you should, because I think you could give me some good suggestions also. Um, so follow me on Facebook, uh, Brad's, or, well, facebook.com slash Brad's Drones. Currently running, oh, look at that, it keeps coming up in focus. Live streams are tough to catch, yes, especially when you live out west of me and it's probably 4 o'clock your time when I start. It's a little more rough. I'm, I'm thinking I could start them later, but I don't know. We'll see. If I get more, we'll see how it goes. I think 5 o'clock is good because there are some other people that do them later. Some do them earlier. Obviously, I kind of had a little conflict with Keith, but, you know, it worked. We, we made it work anyway. You don't do Facebook or Twitter. Well, then, RL, I guess you can't do that then, huh? <laughs> um, I don't know how else to connect with you, because, well, unless you have Inst well, Instagram is my diamond aerial. Just the YouTube. Okay, well, then that's what it is. You can always shoot me a message through YouTube. Uh, leave comments below on some videos. Hey, Brad, do this. I read, I still read the comments at this point. I still read all of the comments. I get messages. Um, email. You can probably get my email through my YouTube. I don't want to put it on. I'm not just going to blurt it out here. <laughs> but, guys, I'm going to get going. It's been an hour. It's been wonderful. It's been wonderful. This has been a fantastic, uh, uh, what you call it, live stream? Yeah, those things. <laughs> so we got to do the end screen. And and I hope everybody, you know, one of these days, I've, I've been having, I've been getting some more crap about my 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 buy in the end of these things. But we'll see. I I. I like it. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to do the end screen. This is a pretty basic one. I haven't changed this yet. I don't know why. Probably because I just haven't had the time. I like this video anyway. This is a cool video. So what I want to do uh, is I want to say to everybody, thank you very, very much for showing up. If you watch this later on, you can leave comments and let me know what you think about this video. <laughs> Thank you, Drone Wolf. And I'm still throwing my hands up because I've had a lot of caffeine today. No, don't let it end. Okay, Brian. Just for you, Brian. So don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. And if you like some of these people that have been commenting and chatting, go ahead and find their channel and like and subscribe their videos. And until next time, I want everybody to fly safe. Thank you again so much. 
Uh, once again, flag safe and bye.